All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And this time I want to talk about going from ZBrush to Marvelous Designer. Now, I feel like a lot of times when we're sculpting in ZBrush, we might be creating a character. And um, there's, um, I feel like not really a good sense of scale in ZBrush, like how big your character is. Now, let's say you had a character and maybe you have some, some different sub tools, um, some complexities here, but I feel like I just went to Lightbox and I grabbed uh, a character here um, for this example. And let's say if, well, okay, I wanna export this character out. So if I go here to export, and I'm just gonna save as OBJ ZBrush, and uh, you can see OBJ, so I already saved it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open that up in Maya, okay? Now I know that I said, hey, I wanna bring this to Marvelous Designer, but um, one important thing, if we brought this into Marvelous Designer, uh, it may be too big or too small, so I'm going to actually use ZBrush to measure this out. So if I um, look at this in the front view, so I'm going to go here and look at it in the front view. And if I go to, um, let's say, Create, Measure Tools, Distance Tools, now I can click at the top, to the bottom of the character, and the character is 13.9. Okay, well, 13.9 what? Well, I have to go to Window, Settings, Preferences, Preferences, and then I have to go to Settings, and then I can see the centimeters. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really think in centimeters. I think in feet. Okay, so I'll go to Foot. Um, and it might not update, so you might have to click off. And now I can see that she is point, uh, it's kind of hard to see, point four feet tall. Okay, so a little less than half a foot tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to move this up and say, hey, if this character was life size, okay, like in real life, I'm gonna say maybe like, I don't know, five and a half feet tall, okay? So th from down here to here, that's how tall she should be. Now, why is that important? Well, I feel like what's why that's important is because Marvelous Designer to create clothing uses dynamic um, you know, simulations and it wants to be based on real world scale. So you might think, well, okay, that's easy. I can just take this character and scale her up to that size. Now, in this case, it may be okay, but if we had a lot of sub tools and complexities, it could get kind of messy, okay? Because now if we bring it back in, notice that, you know, this is the low res. This is the level one of this character. And um, we may have like high-end detail sculpted on our character. And if we bring it in, and it's not in the exact same position that it was when it came in here, then that could be problematic in ZBrush. So in other words, I want to keep this small character, this half foot size character in its position here. That, that way, if I need to bring it back into ZBrush, it's gonna be in the exact same spot that it was in ZBrush. But I also wanna bring this character into Marvelous Designer at real world scale. So I'm gonna use this Maya as kind of an intermediate program to help me do the scaling, okay? And you can do this in Blender, you can do this in 3D Studio Max, uh, it'll be similar concepts. So let's take a look at this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna name this, it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna call this uh, female character. And now, instead of scaling the character herself, I'm gonna go Control G to group it, and I'm gonna call this scale, uh, I'm gonna call this scale node, okay? Now what I can do, if I open this up, I can actually scale this character up, and now I can see that she's gonna be life size. Now, also notice that I scaled the scale node, but on the female, it's still uh, regular size, okay? Now, now you can see that on female, uh, it was, okay, full disclosure, when I brought this character in from ZBrush, she was life size, but I'm just, normally when you work in ZBrush, it's wrong size. So I feel like normally what it would look like is this. Um, so let's just pretend that she did come in really small. So now I have this scale node and what I can do here is I could do all the stuff that I want to in Marvelous Designer, okay? And uh, so I would export this body out. I would go to file and I would say export selection. And now I would go to here and um, I would call this OBJ Marvelous, okay? Or whatever program you need uh, full size. 
And there we go. Now I would bring that into Marvelous. I would dress her up. I would do everything dynamic, whatever I want. And then I would bring that back into Maya. Okay. So just for sake of um, time, I'm going to pretend that I made a hat. Okay. I don't know. Well, let's say I made a hat for the character. And um, well, let me see. Okay. Made a hat for the character. And I'm just going to kind of go like this. Um, or if I wanted to, if I, uh, instead of using Marvelous, I mean, I could, I could technically do it in here, um, or I could use a combination of the programs, whatever. But, um, now that I have this hat in here, um, so if I imported this hat or let's say this some clothing back into ZBrush, it's going to be way too big because remember she should be really small. So what I can do, I'm just going to name this hat instead of once again, now scaling her and the hat, I can drag the hat with middle mouse drag, put it into the scale node. And now I can scale this back to the original size. So I can put this at one and there she is at the original size. Okay. Now what's kind of cool about this is I could go like this. I could set a keyframe on the scale node. So I could press S to set a keyframe at normal size. And then I'll move to frame 30 and then I can scale up to be exactly whatever I want it to be right here. And now if I press S, now if I need to go to ZBrush, I just bring her down here with all of the accessories. If I need to go to Marvelous, I'll just go like this and then export her with whatever accessories I need, dress her, export out of Marvelous, bring it back in here. And then once again, put all of the stuff that I'm bringing out of Marvelous back into the scale node and then go back down here and then bring into ZBrush. Okay, so I'm going to bring this into the ZBrush. And to do that, so it's scaled down to the ZBrush size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this hat. And I'm going to uh, just leave it here. And I'm going to go File, Export Selection. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'm just going to call this OBJ hat. I'm just going to call it a 1. Okay, great. Export Selection. Now if I go into ZBrush, here's my character sitting here. I'll go to Subtool and I'll go to Append. Whoop. Append, and I'm just going to put something on there I don't care about, a sphere. Now I can select the sphere and import the hat. And now I can see that the hat goes in the right place. Okay, so once again, if I, um, and just to kind of show you, if I scale this up, okay, and if I exported this hat out now, Export selection. Okay. Now, if I brought that back into ZBrush, okay, and I'm going to append something else. Once again, I have to append something I don't care about. Then go here and then import. And then here's hat 02. Okay. And if I press F, I can see that that hat is way too big. You can see it's way up here. My character's way down here. Um, so obviously, I don't want that. So I'll just delete that subtool. And now I can see here that my uh, miniature character, that maybe it's miniature because I didn't even think about the size when I started in ZBrush. And it's kind of awkward to kind of work with size. Um, but now when I bring it into here, once again, I don't, I don't scale the actual objects, okay, whether the hat or the character. I scale the scale node. And that will allow me to have it uh, life size for programs like Marvelous Design or whatever I need it for. Or zbrush size in case they need to go back and kind of edit things in zbrush so hopefully that was helpful i feel like i know that used to be a kind of a confusing topic for myself i feel like scale in zbrush is, is a little awkward so you know if you found this helpful make sure to like and subscribe if you've got questions feel free to post any questions um, and i'm happy to answer anything that you have all right thank you and have a great day